Hey folks, Rick here from La La Farm. Here's another museum tour. And we got the crafty hobbit here with us. That's my daughter, Rebecca. We are at the USS Naval Destroyer, USS Turner Joy in Bremerton, Washington. This is where the this is where the rounds are loaded into the gun to be fired. I can barely fit around the front of this mount. This is the port side of the gun. is the arms are right there that is the bottom of the seat so that seat would flip and then there's a cone up there where the gunner would actually sit and control this gun mount from control panels it's pretty awesome another gun mount room gun mount carriage room ship store right here there's a ladder going down into the engine room <laughs> Come on. This cheese mess? The enemy submarines and planes away from our cruisers and aircraft carriers. This cheese mess. This is uh, uh, ranks E7, E8, and E9 in the Navy. Are considered chief petty officers, chief petty officers, senior chief, and master chief petty officers. 
Chiefs Galley. Oh, here's medical. Is it aqueous firefighting foam? Maybe it is. Aqueous firefighting foam. I forget, it's been a long time. Here's medical department. That's my son-in-law. You never see him ever in any of our lives. You hear about the Crafty Hobbit, but uh, this is my son-in-law. He is a chief corpsman in the Navy. Oh, but it's not real. So this is a mess desk. Here's a mess dex. This is the chow line right here. This is where all the food is served from for the enlisted members below E7. The grill over there. Here's the barber shop tucked away in this little itty bitty tiny hole is the barber shop. Interesting. This is the IC gyro room. This is what I did in the Navy. That was my rate, and this is where I would have been. This would have been my workshop on on uh, this vessel. There's an example, of, there's an example of the ship's the menu room. for one day. See, you'd come over here with your tray, you'd walk through, see us, and you'd be like, hey, what's what? And I'd be like, I want this one. And this one I did. Dessert. Tell them I'm not in She ate ice cream the entire time she was on the boat. Yeah, I did. When I actually got to eat. <laughs> oh, meh, meh, meh. Right Hey, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You try to work in 16 hour shifts on the flight deck. Come on, girl. Number one engine room, main control. Come on, this is an office. So this is a dispersing office. This is where everybody got paid from, right here. So there's the pay, Cumulative September 1964, years. Years of service. for an E4, under two years, $122, Girl, here, I think a month, yeah. <laughs> wow, so when I got out of the Navy, I would have been an E6, uh, over six, I would have been paid a grand total of $276.90 no, a month this is one that's in month. September. 1964. All of the red piping in here, you see, this all has to do with firefighting. We lost your dad. So here's another engineering room right here. This personnel office. This is where all of the uh, ship's company records. Um, this would be the modern equivalent of human resources. Here is the ship's post office. 
all of the incoming and outgoing mail handled there stamps all of that stuff postal clerk works in there all right so this is the wardroom mess this is where the officers on board the ship would eat These are all exterior doors. This would be an example of an officer's stateroom right here. So they live two to a room. And here is a officer's restroom, individual shower. This right here would be enlisted birthing. How are you? Hi, how are you? Good, good. Stack three to a three high. And then you'll have storage under your mattress, but this is where you sleep, right here. It was. And it hadn't changed too much to today. This part right here, the inside of this is hollow. It's called the tricep. You can open these and that's where you would store all your stuff. There's an enlisted head. Notice that in here you got multiple showers, multiple toilets, multiple sinks. It's all shared space. Kind of a rest and relaxation area. This is an example of the inside of one of the racks, how they're laid out. All of your clothes are stored in the rack and in one of these stand ups. There's an example of a stand up there. Hadn't changed anything to today. Well, That's what they were like when, they, when it got commissioned, it was the hammock beds. No, Daddy's coming down. He went up. We're coming down. Hey, this is where the Corman slept. Check it out. Look it. There's your dad. There's a daddy. PCs, DKs, radio men, and a yeoman. Can you imagine living on one of these for months at a time and that's the only space you have to store your stuff? It's the sonar control room. So this is where all of the sonar control would happen. This is where technicians would sit in a dark room with red light and interpret what they're seeing on the sonar screens. And they would listen to what they're hearing with the sonar returns. Does their stuff even work anymore? No, baby, it's just, it's lit up to show you what it would have looked like. Engineering log room. This is where all the maintenance records, schematic diagrams, manuals for the equipment are all stored for the engineering department. So this is my rate right here as an interior communications electrician. You find medical? Most <laughs> oh, favorite car is for PO1 and C. I just like the way they do this. They got military cars for payoffs to three and two. This is a modern day sailor discovering how sick call in a or how, no, this is a ship's office. This is the ship's office right here. How how they have organized 
<laughs> That's cool. Did you see the did you see sick bay back here? Yeah, I saw it. Very itty bitty. I could literally spend hours here. Oh, you're fine. We're still exploring. I just brought the girls back because they were looking for miles. Because apparently I see Jire was two decks down from here, right here. Well, that's where he's been working, huh? Yeah. I see Jire, but I'm going to do that So it's a plot room. Again, more equipment. Here's the CPO galley. Chief engineer. We're still in officer country. Yeah. I wonder if you can get to you guys get on here's, 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 here's a ship's laundry. This is where all the laundry came from. It's where they would press everything, clean everything. Are you what? Have you guys gone down here? No. See, why am I carrying your water bottle? Because you love them. And you're walking down that like you've never been in the Navy. I fell down of many of these. I dropped a main belt on myself. I'm 54 years old. I got a reason. More ships berthing. I oh, know these are, this is the Chief's quarters. Is that another one of the engine rooms? This is some of the equipment that I worked on here. It's a brawler, uh, sound powered phone headset, and these are the actual sound powered phones. All of this equipment was stuff that I worked on in the Navy. So these are the engines, walking around to the uh, boiler room. And keep in mind, this thing would have been well over 100 degrees in here constantly. This would have been really, really hot in here. This is boiler equipment. But all the red is all fire. So this is this is seawater that's pumped in directly uh, into the hoses here and then used for firefighting. So in the Navy, um, everyone on that ship is trained in firefighting. It doesn't matter what your rate or job is. See here, they're taking oil samples and this is still done today so they can test oil. So they'll get, you know, oil samples out of out of various pieces of equipment and then they can tell, you know, what the quality of that oil is. If there's any water mixed in it, because it will separate. Dad, did you turn this? It's like you're seeing here. No. Main control bridge. Heavy black smoke, forward stack. That's not good. All right, sir. Main eye, smoke and black, forward stack. This was something that was pretty cool that I didn't really ever see. Say something. Say something like just A, B, C, D, E, F, G. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Go in there and say it. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. That's completely soundproof in there. <laughs> Probably like absorbent right here. So you can have a, you can have a conversation on a squat box over, no. over the engine. Oh, What's that? Yeah, LS 19s is what we call this. I but mean, the PCs had these in the galley, and it's easy because you could literally just go, you know, hey, dinner for the boys, instead yeah. of having to get over on a thing. On the one MC. Yeah. Yeah, this is an LS 19, is what it's referred to as. Morning, you just 
whatever channel, whoever you want to call. Yeah, that's a lot easier than the growlers. Yeah. So you're going to have these too, then. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what's the yeah. Yeah. Oil pump. Your whole thing. You guys figured out what's wrong yet? Yeah, one of them on here might yeah, be right there. Had the sound power just headset finished replacing it and should yeah. have it back up in about 45 minutes. Okay. Red. Let me know as soon as it's up and running. Red what? Roger that. Red what? There's the red phone, and then this is the. <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure the red phone just goes you up the phone. Well, probably, there's a, probably, it's probably part of to... the X1J. Now, this is a dedicated circuit. It's wrapped around uh, X1J. That's the command circuit right there. Oh, so that's good. like, that literally is the president's yeah, phone. Talk to the <laughs> talk to, so they can talk to the bridge on that. Yeah. All those years, you still got it. Steven? Steve so this propulsion. Is, this is the reduction gear. So this is where all the magic happens. So it takes all of the high speed from those turbines and reduces it down to the right speed to turn the screw. And this was a dual screw um, vessel. And you have two propellers, one on each side. More, more ships berthing. That's cool, they built the, the rating badges onto the chair or onto the tables. That looks like ammunition down there. Huh? That ain't the ammunition. Shower head bathroom for 147 of the 280 of the ship's crew. <laughs> That's nuts. Nah, we didn't take showers. We hot racked. Right, I want to get up to the inner self-guided stop to ahead. So now we're on the we are on the port side, main deck, going forward. So in here is all of the stuff we just looked through. So, for example, there's the barber shop. And there's Lala right in there at the table. You can't really see her, but she's in there. Here's the ship's galley. From the outside, more of the ship's galley. It's the forward gun turret. Also called the forecastle. These are the anchor chains looking aft from the front of the forecastle. This is where they would break the lines for the anchor. Now they've got this attached up here. Normally you would come down from inside of the ship is where they'd have the anchor chain and they don't have that. They've just got enough to have the anchors, one on each side, blocked up. More equipment room. So this has got two motor whale boats on it. One on each side. These barrels right here, these are lifeboats. Generally they will have a pressure sensor on there so that they can be activated manually or when they get to when the ships were to sink to a certain depth, those would release. So there's the rear of the starboard motor whale boat. Carries the insignia of the ship. Looking up, see the mast up here. These tall antennas right here are radio antennas. These are torpedo tubes right here. So these torpedo tubes would turn and they could launch these torpedoes from this O2 uh, deck, which is pretty amazing given how high we are. 
So now we are up on the O3 level. Walking forward. And this comes up to the starboard bridge wing. So here we have uh, directional repeaters. So this comes off the main compass and this would spin and give whoever is on the bridge wing navigating information about the direction or course of the ship. Uh, this repeater, so there's repeaters all over the vessel. This is the rudder angle indicator, so they can tell what the rudder is, what the rudder angle is. Uh, you know, if the captain wants to steer um, to the left, then he could say uh, 20 degrees port rudder. And this rudder angle would then go to 20 degrees and you'd begin to turn left. This is the navigation bridge. Now this would be the bridge under good weather conditions. You can see there's no doors on the sides, but you have all the same navigation equipment out here that you would require. Same communication equipment. More rudder angle. Or this is a this is an engine order indicator. Uh, engine order indicator. This is again the rudder angle indicator. These are gyro repeaters. Or radar repeaters, I mean, not gyro repeaters, radar repeaters. This is the squawk box. We've already kind of looked at one of these. Um, these are the LS19s. These are equipment that I had worked down here. This is a speed indicator. So at zero, it would be sticking straight up. The faster you go, this would uh, turn. Um, the ship would theoretically uh, go 35 knots. I don't know if it would go that quickly or not. That's pretty fast for a ship. So this is the Fairweather Bridge. Um, the Foulweather Bridge is through this door. So this is the actual pilot house. So this is the navigation table. So you would have the quartermasters who are doing navigation. This is where they would do all of the navigation. Now they, they generally would use paper, paper maps, uh, paper charts, all of the various communication equipment. This is the actual helm. This is what they would use to steer the vessel, taking commands from the captain. So if they wanted to go to the left or to the port side, they would steer right to the port. If they wanted to go to the starboard side or right to the right, they steer to the right. So our crafty hobbit, Becca, is playing with the, some of the orders. Steady on new course 269, checking 273. Very well. These are, right here is a signal lamp. So this is how uh, signalmen would communicate with other vessels by, this is a really high powered light, by using signals would open and close that light source, essentially Morse code, um, to communicate with other signalmen on other ship. This, this array would, would rotate. So back here should be captain's cabin somewhere. Here we go. This is the captain's sea cabin. So this is where the captain would sleep um, during underway periods. This chart room. So again, this is where all of the ship's charts would be kept. Combat Information Center. And this is where all of the radar repeaters are. This is where ship's uh, actions are taken. Um, and this is generally full of operation specialists and, uh, and the like. Um, basically advising the captain of the data, of the threat, the status of the threat, um, so that he can make decisions on how best to handle that threat. This is the executive officer's uh, stateroom. 
This is the second in charge. This is his room. State room. So this is the captain's state room. Um, in port or at sea, uh, his discretion. Uh, but this is just below the bridge. And this is where uh, his area, his birthing area is. Again, another radio room. You know, there's a lot of this stuff, the really important stuff, communication stuff, is pretty close to, um, pretty close to the captain's quarters. <laughs> All right. You see that little lever right there? So I told her this is the shit. Steve's like, like, that's the whistle, and that's the big like, horn. I was, I was like, like, I dare you to, to like, turn it, I dare you to pull it. Not energetic. So he's pulling it really, 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 really slow, it. and the ferry's coming in over there, and the horn, the ferry, the ferry horn, horn blew, and he thought it was the shit. <laughs> His eyes were like, he's like smiling, he's like pulled down, and all of a sudden he hears it, he goes, <laughs> So we're up on the underway bridge. Uh, I think that's probably going to be it for this. I uh, hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I love this kind of stuff, particularly active vet or, or uh, you know, tours of actual uh, historical naval vessels. And I think the guy's going to be coming through, kicking us out of here pretty soon. So I got to get rolling. Always remember, folks, treat others as you would like to be treated. Lala Farm, out.